pursuing that um, avenue that I would end up eventually getting signed to my first booking agency as a country artist. Um, and I was like 15 or 16 at the time. Um, and with Buddy Lee Attractions. Um, and they put me on the road doing a bunch of dates. So got to open for like Taylor Swift, Jason Aldean. Uh, we got to play some side stages on a festival for Rascal Flats. There was some really, really cool moments uh, over the years of working for the agency. Um, but that's pretty much what got me into country music. So what were, you, what were you playing? Like, did you have an album then? Like if you're opening for Taylor Swift, I'm sure this is younger Taylor Swift, kind of early Taylor Swift. 2008, she was... She definitely had started to blow up because it was wild to see all the people that showed up for her uh, concert. But yeah, it, this was 2008 country concert in the hills in Fort Laramie, Ohio. Um, it, it was wild. But no, we, we didn't have an album out. Um, I had well, I, I say we ha we didn't have an album out in the in the tents in, in the pretense of like it wasn't like out in the market doing huge numbers or signed to a label or anything like that. Uh, I had made a couple records at that point in town, uh, here in town, and we had just, we were just really relentless. We took, we said yes to everything. So whether it was like a small little club, little smoky bar, or a big festival, and since we said yes to just everything over the course of a few years, it just kind of ended up in a, a situation where I was opening for a bunch of cool artists at some different festivals throughout the summer and fall, and Taylor Swift just happened to be the headliner that one day. Um, I'll never forget that. That was amazing. Yeah, I can imagine, especially kind of around that Nashville scene. I'm sure you did you cross paths because Nashville kind of is that, like you said, it's like kind of that hub. You kind of got to know people and uh, kind of work with everyone. Yeah, our, our, our paths definitely crossed like back in the day a little bit because really there was only like between teenagers in country music that were trying to make it um, that were more pop. Um, it was really just Taylor and I, uh, Billy Graham had kind of blown up a little bit in the, but he wasn't really like a crossover, uh, country artist. He was, he was more traditional. Um, so it was really just Taylor and I, that was, you know, that young doing pop country before pop country was even like a thing. Um, I know she probably went through all of her phases of feeling like an outsider, just like I have. Um, as a matter of fact, actually, we, we just got back from Chicago. We took, I took my daughters and my wife, um, my producer and co-manager, Danny Rader, hooked up some Taylor Swift tickets uh, in Chicago this last weekend. And we just spent the weekend in Chicago seeing her, which was it's amazing to see how far she's come, you know, and um, she stayed true to her guns. But, yeah, uh, our paths have crossed now a few times. <laughs>